For the next story, we're going to go to the shores of the Hudson's Bay. And so this is where one of the largest concentrations of beluga uh, congregate every summer. They come to these estuaries to feed and give birth in shallows, uh, and sorry, in water that is uh, too shallow for orcas to come, so it's safe for them. And tourists flock here. I mean, these are kind of the lovable creatures of the sea. They're curious. They sing underwater. And they'll actually follow people in their boats or kayaks, and people can actually go swimming with them too. So this gentleman here is, uh, he leads a group of artists whose goal is to transcend the species boundary between human and beluga through art. So they, they created this kind of floating stage on a zodiac where they sang and danced for the, the belugas. They even brought up an opera singer and a contortionist. Here he's testing out his homemade beluga suit, which he's going to use for the ultimate cultural exchange with the belugas and swim among the pod. <laughs> and so while the tourists are, are swinging and swimming and singing with the belugas in Churchill, about 100 miles up the coast, there's small Inuit populations who are eagerly awaiting their arrival too. But for them, it's to hunt. 